friends, welcome to a reading vlog, a weekend reading vlog. It is currently Friday, February the 7th, and it is currently 5.41 p.m. I just got home from work and grocery shopping and all that kind of fun stuff. Here's the battle plan. <laughs> the battle plan for this weekend is... To finish the book I'm reading, which is The Girl in Red, I have about 50 pages left. I will speak about it more once I finish it, because I think I will finish it today. I mean, that's the plan. That's part of the battle plan. Finish The Girl in Red. Like, ASAP. After that's done, I'm gonna be picking up The Institute by Stephen King. If you didn't see my most recent video, I'm essentially attempting to read all the 10 books from the Goodreads Choice Awards in the horror category in February. So far I have read three books already and it's only the seventh. This doesn't usually happen to me but I just went into this month knowing that I want to read a ton and acting accordingly. I'm assuming that this will fizzle out, this motivation will fizzle out like in a couple days but <laughs> so far I'm writing a reading high. So after I'm done with The Girl in Red I'm gonna be picking up The Institute I will also speak about this more once I get to it. This is just like an introduction plan. Then tomorrow I might, I might not go see Birds of Prey. We don't know yet. And other than that, I don't really have anything planned other than playing Dragon Age because that happened to me. I have resisted, I resisted this game for years and years because I knew that once I started playing Dragon Age, I would not be able to stop and that's exactly what happened. I am about like 2% into the gameplay, like the main storyline essentially, but all I'm doing is like the side quests because there's so much and I'm just like, let me do all that. So that's like a thing. Um, I want to bake. I haven't baked in 17 years. I cook more regularly these days. I thought I would never cook, but that's happening. But I haven't baked in 17 years and I want to try to bake carrot cake this weekend because I'm not a huge cake person, but carrot cake is like one of my three favorite kinds of cake that I ever eat. So I want to attempt to do that at home from scratch. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably take you along with me. And that's all the plans weekend-wise, I think. I want to pre-film a couple videos, but that's probably for Sunday. Maybe tomorrow. No one knows. As for an immediate plan, that's to figure out the situation in my room because it looks like something exploded in here. There's clothes everywhere, including like 700 socks on the floor because my puppy is like a professional sock stealer, thief. That's the word. Oh my god. Um, it's Friday, okay. <laughs> um, and then go and read a bit. I will update you with what I'm doing. It is currently, that's my washing machine, hi. Um, it's currently like 8 10 or something and I just finished reading The Girl in Red. So here's my quick thoughts and quick review. So this book is about Red. Her name is Cordelia but she likes to call herself Red. And this is about her in a post-apocalyptic world as she's tracking across the United States to get to her grandmother's cabin. Uh, this switches back from as the apocalypse is happening to as she's tracking so we can get the backstory on her and like what happened to her and her family and all that and this is essentially a dark retelling of Red Riding Hood. Here's my thoughts. I am conflicted. I think I'm gonna give it three stars. I don't... I'm not sure yet. I think like a soft three stars, like like a strong three stars, like soft three stars because here's my issues with it. I am a huge sucker for any post-apocalyptic world. I love that kind of stuff. I love survival stuff, media, whatever. But here's my problem with this. Okay, so like the main character is biracial. Her mom is black. Her dad is white and she is an amputee. Her, I think, left leg was amputated by the knee when she was like eight years old because she was in a huge car accident. All that. This is great for diversity, but there's also some things that just rub me the wrong way and that make me think that this diversity is completely forced and not genuine. And that is that like, during this novel, there's like, her sexuality is like mentioned completely briefly, you know, how I talked about Adam Silvera and Infinity Sun and how it doesn't feel genuine and feels just like she's he's like ticking off a box. It also felt like that here. And also when she runs across these two kids, 
she doesn't know what their gender is and instead of using they which if you're including this kind of diversity in your novel you i would assume that you have some kind of knowledge in like our current times and what needs to be included and what needs to not be marginalized anymore and instead of using they them she keeps referring to these kids as he slash she in the text and at one point she also thinks to herself like can i fucking know the gender of these two so i know if it's a he or she and i'm like that's not very inclusive, but which which runs me the wrong way and which makes me question if the rest of the diversity in this novel, however great it is, is actually genuine. So I didn't like that. Also, some parts of this novel feel like she was just trying to push to get to some kind of word count that she needed to get to. And then it's replaced by sequences that are like completely enjoyable and great. There's also some kind of like show and tell that's like not handled that gracefully but that's okay i don't really mind the tell instead of the show i'm a sucker for a good told story anyway so like i didn't mind that there's also like a twist towards the end that i didn't really fell, f fall for which made it kind of like fall flat so like that's my negative thoughts on this novel but like some positive thoughts on this novel i think it's a very good character study on the main character she's definitely a very flawed character she is full of resentment she is stubborn and i think like it's never on page and i don't know if this was like meant to be that way or if it just sort of happened but the way it reads she kind of reads like she has like anxiety and like some kind of ocd and some kind of paranoia and like tendencies towards that because she is a very anxious person and like there's like internal dialogue used in this novel that in my opinion shows very well what it's like to be in the head of an anxious person when it's like so much going on inside the brain and it's like 17 voices at the same time all saying a different thing just to keep like the person safe like you should do this you should do this. this is what happens like to an anxious person at least in, in my experience so i did enjoy that very much and like i said the atmosphere of the post-apocalyptic world i just enjoy very much so that was like a, a huge saver for this book for me but like there's also the negative parts so like it's a very mixed bag for me so i think i'm gonna give it three stars we'll see it once i haven't decided yet but i think so i'm probably gonna start the institute i don't know how much i'll read but i will definitely at least start it and i will update you on any further happenings in my life but just wanted to tell you finish the book third book of february and it's only the seventh feeling amazing about that hello it is currently like 1 30 a.m I watch a lot of TV, play some Dragon Age, then I complain about being sleepy for like a good hour and now I'm finally in bed and I'm gonna read a couple pages of the Institute before I drop dead slash fall asleep for like 10 hours straight after the whole work week. But I wanted to update you, I don't even know why. It's just a habit at this point, even though I have nothing substantial to say or inform me about. <laughs> Hello and good morning. You don't, you don't, you don't want to know what time it is. I woke up like 20 minutes ago and you don't want to know what time it is. It's um, very late. So my dreams of reading in bed were crushed by my own inability to wake up to my own alarm. <laughs> so, you know, but I needed that sleep after a work week. Still hated though. So right now I'm gonna go have lunch. <laughs> um, and then after that I wanted to read, but my mom wants to go and do some more grocery shopping because apparently she forgot to buy stuff yesterday for herself so and i'm the designated driver in this family so that might be happening and i need to probably edit the video that needs to go up today before i get to reading so it's gonna be a while before i sit down and read but that being said i'm still hoping for like incredible amounts of reading <laughs> today and tomorrow yesterday before sleep i read very little oh i don't have a bookmark in it so this is useless for you um <laughs> i read like 25 pages of the institute and like plot twist i really was feeling stephen king you know at least so far i'm just happy to be reading stephen king i just was missing the writing style so i probably won't make or form an opinion on the actual novel until at least like 200 pages in because i'm just feeling like stephen king so i'm like yes give it to me you know so there's that hello it is currently 5 30 groceries have been bought coffee has been had back home i don't think i'm gonna get to film anything today because it's already almost dark outside and i would like some daylight 
in my videos sometimes, at least from time to time. So, also, video has been edited. I don't know if I said that before. I might have. Either way. Right now, the plan is to go change into comfies and then I should get to reading. Wish me luck. So I have actually something to update you on before I leave for the movies. So, you know, wish me luck, fingers crossed. I am excited to read at least, uh, at least a little bit. Oh my God. What are, what are vlogs? I don't know. I'm struggling, okay? That's, that's the message. It's 8 p.m. Here's some shocking news for you. I did not read a single page. I changed into my comfies, that much I did do. And then I just went and played Dragon Age. And I got my video ready and uploaded. So I guess there's also that, you know. And now it's time to go. We are stopping for a short, brief drink before the movie, which is at 9 p.m. And then I'm gonna go see Birds of Prey. Because there's nothing else at the movies. Trust me, otherwise I would not be going to see Birds of Prey. But I desperately want to go to the movies. And this is what's on. That's like the best option we have right now. So I'm gonna go do that. And after that, I promise I will read today. Also, I have to reapply my lipstick because that's ridiculous. I promise I will do some reading today. Okay, I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. And before that, I get, at least I can give you a movie review. If you care. But gotta go now. Hi. It's 11.20. We just got home. Drinks didn't happen. The place was closed. We don't know why. But then we went to see Birds of Prey. Here's my thoughts. Didn't think I would like this because Suicide Squad was like a hot mess with like extra chili on top. But this was great. I had so much fun. I love women. And this was just so casually inclusive and just like good fun. Like I loved. It was... It was good. Also, I don't like Margaret Robbie. Kill me, but I just don't enjoy her. Well, I enjoyed her in this, so I guess I officially kind of like her. I don't know what's happening. Also, I knew next to nothing about this movie because, like, my interest in, interest in like, the DC Universe in general is, like, below zero. <laughs> so it was, like, a huge surprise when suddenly Ewan McGregor, the love of my life, appeared on the screen. I was like, hi, this is... This is Whatever this movie is, I'm gonna enjoy it. And it was right, I enjoyed it. And Ewan McGregor was there and it was a good time. Now, we're gonna repeat the process from before. I'm gonna change into comfies. They're probably gonna waste a little bit of time until my mom goes to sleep and we can get a handle on the big TV that we have in our living room so we can like watch another movie because <laughs> that's life. And then I'm gonna read. I'm gonna do it. Reading is gonna be happening. I'm gonna have a Red Bull if I need to, to stay up until like, I don't know when. So I can read a chunk. It's gonna happen. As I live and breathe, it's gonna happen. Also, I just wanted to say, I don't want to just leave it at like, I love women. I just love the way this movie handled like, some things that like Charlie's Angels, for example, completely failed to do. Like, this is such a statement on like, how women come together due to their circumstances, even if they're completely different and just support each other just because they know that the fellow woman needs that support. Amazing message. Also the casual femininity that was included in this movie. Like there's a huge fight scene, right? And just one of them turns into the other one and she's like, do you need a hair tie? Just like stuff like that, like super just like casual and like felt completely genuine and not forced at all. Also, I wanted to say something else, but then I forgot what I wanted to say. What did I want to say? Oh, right. There's like one scene when they're like working together and fighting a bunch of bad guys together. And like, that was like such a moment of like empowerment for me. It was amazing to see how they were all just like working together just to like save what they needed to save slash like for a common goal. It was chef's kiss. Beautiful. Hi, it's Sunday. <laughs> um, yesterday we watched Pain and Glory, which was great. That movie really focuses on some really intimate personal stuff and it was great, in my opinion. And then I read Until About Three, which got me to a grand total of 56 pages so far. And now I woke up about half an hour ago, I'm not sure. And I read for a bit after waking up and now I'm on the gray, gray page 70. 
So that means that this is all I this this is all the pages that I should be reading today. <laughs> because contemporary thon starts at midnight. Well, that just just for your information, it's like four hundred and ten pages. Hi. Um I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> I think so. But I'm gonna spend today a chunk of today reading and hopefully I can get a good chunk of this done. I really want to. I want to so badly. I don't know what happened yesterday that I didn't read at all. I hate it so much because I had so many grand plans. I don't I don't understand it. But so far this is fine. Essentially the book starts off with them something who like gets off a plane and tr and decides to like hitchhike to New York, but he ends up in like a small town and I think Maine. I mean, where else? Probably in Maine. So, and he gets a night knocker job there and then he gets promoted to be part of the police team. Slash like, he gets offered that position. And then suddenly we switch to like, Ellis, no, Luke Ellis who was like a little kid, I think he's 12, and he's like a genius, he like just applies to college, I think he got into like Harvard maybe, I'm not sure, he's a genius, but he's also, uh, he's also got telekinesis, so, then he gets kidnapped by some people, and they take him to the institute, that's all I've got for you right now, um, it's okay, I was expecting a little more, but it's okay. So far, we'll see where it takes us. It like for so far, it just reminds me of Doctor Sleep, and I'm wondering to myself what the point of another book like that is right now. But maybe it will veer off that path and like really surprise me. I am ready to be surprised. So that's that for now. Um, I'm gonna go eat lunch. And then like do something with myself. I don't even know. Hi fam. Um, I don't know what time is it right now. I don't want to know because I am pretty sure that like many a time has passed. Many a times that's not how that's not how English works, but you know what I mean. Um I filmed two videos right now. Um I also had lunch. Now I'm gonna do some stuff. I think I'm gonna possibly bake. Possibly bake. Then I'm gonna clean the house. And then I'm gonna sit down and read. Or maybe in between those two I'll skip like squishing reading. I'm not exactly sure. That's all I wanted to say. Jesus, this vlog is a fucking mess. Here's a, here's some books. There's a Jeffree Star mystery box from Christmas. My dog's on the floor so I'm like, ooh, that's just the books that I demolished for the videos. My, box, my, my, my dog is escaping me. There's my, do there's my dog with all of my tote bags, which is way too many and I need a hanger for them, but I keep forgetting to buy one. That's all, I'm gonna do things, bye. <laughs> it is currently 3.43, I have not read a single page today, but, 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 I spent the last like 40 minutes getting a dough ready, because I'm making the carrot cake that I promised on Friday. I know this is not book content, but let me, let me show you, okay? Look at this. Also, we had a hard form for like cakes, this is my leftover carrot. It's fine. But like, look at this. It looks so good and carroty. Like, also, I had a taste. Even though you shouldn't taste dough because like, raw egg and whatever the fuck, I don't care. I had a taste. It tastes amazing. So, very excited. Currently preheating our oven. And after that's preheated, it's gonna go in and then we're gonna have carrot cake. And while it's getting baked, I'm gonna clean the house and then I'm gonna read, 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 read. I'm motivated. Everything's happening. Everything's great. It's, yeah, I just wanted to show you because, like, hmm, yeah, you know, that had to be shared. Hello, friends. It is currently 8 40 p.m. I have some news. Some bad, some good. I don't know. So, good news the carrot cake. Turned out amazing. It's very moist. It's very tasty. Honestly, personally, I love that. Can't wait to make it a second time. Surprised how well it turned out. Um, the bad news, I have accepted that I'm not finishing the institute today. It's just not gonna happen. I had big dreams and big hopes, but it's, I'm just not physically capable of doing it before contemporary thought starts. I did make a dent though. I'm currently on page around 180, I think. 180. And like, it's okay. So far, like, 
it's very slow burning which i don't know why i'm surprised but for some reason i'm surprised like when i compare it to like cosmology of monsters for example so much happened in the first 180 pages in that book and like this not that much has happened surprisingly also i do not understand like the first 30 pages and why they needed to be as like the first 30 pages i do not understand that but maybe that's just me and my stupid brain you know but um 100 pages in probably will read a few more pages before like midnight but like with the strike of midnight i am ready to read for a contemporary -athon. that's what's gonna happen and i've accepted it it's fine i'll just like read this in between books next week or like finish it after contemporary -athon is over it's sad and i feel bad that i like didn't get to finish this in this vlog but you know you can't always finish multiple books in a vlog and it's fine it's fine it's okay please Someone tell me that it's okay. But right now, <laughs> it's that time of day when I'm gonna play Dragon Age and that's all that's, all that's gonna be happening. And yeah, I'll check in with you later if there's anything to check with. Check in with. That's, yeah, that's all. Hello, friends. I don't know how many times I said hello in this vlog, but I say hi a lot, so we just have to live with that. I didn't have anything to update you on last night, really. So this is just to wrap up the reading vlog, the weekend reading vlog, <laughs> I read about 10 more pages of the institute before it was midnight and time for contemporary -athon. So that's all I read. My thoughts on the institute so far. It's very slow burning, more than I would have expected. But at the same time, I was feeling Stephen King, so I am enjoying the writing. Something, why is Stephen King, this, this is like open discussion. Why does Stephen King laugh? kid characters so much because this is all from the point of view of like a 12 year old boy and I'm like why did you never get over your childhood do you have childhood trauma that you never disclosed what's the you know what is that or do you have like do you take your inspiration from that part of your brain that was like fantasizing and like if living in its own world when you were 12 questions does anybody have answers probably Stephen King but I don't think I'll be ever able to ask Stephen King why this is so this is you know just like putting it out into the ether um that's all I am sorry that I didn't manage to finish this I hope you enjoy enjoy this vlog nonetheless feel free to leave a comment share anything with me how's your week going for example um would it be awesome if you gave this video a like would it be even more awesome if you decided to subscribe I would love you forever and that's all for now so that means that in true Alan Ripley fashion I am signing off